Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on a super quick, no more than 25 minutes daily pregnancy workout routine. Anyway, tomorrow I am 22 weeks, finally. But your girl's out of breath and pregnancy brain is no joke. To help with that, this workout routine is super easy. It doesn't require any equipment. All you need is sufficient space. In the video, I do work out at the park because again, I do enjoy working out outdoors more now that I'm pregnant than before. And you can't really get me to the gym for some reason, but whatever. Anyway, I do wanna say as of now, you do not need to be pregnant in order to follow this routine. It's pregnant, non-pregnant friendly, and I personally love it. I'm going to tell you guys the steps beforehand just so you guys want to, if you guys want to write them down or whatnot. So my workout consists of always one to one and a half miles, either between walking and jogging. I always switch between the two. And then I stop somehow between the walking and the jogging and I do two sets of lunges. 20 each and then I walk jog some more and then I do two sets of squats walk jog some more now when I finish I come home and I stretch make sure I stretch every part of my body I will show you a different type of stretches you guys could do and then I do at least four to five poses of yoga it's beginners poses so and it's pregnancy approved so you guys it will be fine they're super easy and it really helps stimulate the body and kind of have that body, sorry, blood flowing. And I feel great afterwards. And yeah, it's super quick if I didn't mention that yet. I do want to state as of now, your body will be sore, but it feels great. So if you're interested in my workout, please keep on watching and give this video a thumb okay so as i mentioned earlier i do start my workout with a one to one and a half mile walk and jog i do start off by walking just so that i could get blood flowing you can also warm up by stretching your arms and just swinging them back and forth and shaking off your legs just to kind of ease up your body Also, there are some hills in the park that I usually work out in so I use the incline as an advantage and I go up and down at least once or twice throughout the one and a half miles then I jump into my first set of 20 each of the lunges Then I jump into my first set of 20 squats. Sorry for the quality. My husband filmed me in a hurry. <laughs> then I continue my mile and a half with jogging. Next, I jump into my second set of 20 each of lunges. Now I am finally on my second set of 20 each of the squats. Notice that I am turning around each time I complete a squat just because it kind of intensifies the workout. Finally, I jog off the rest of what's left of the one and a half mile. Keep in mind that you know your body more than anybody else. So if running or jogging kind of keeps you out of breath for too long, it's best if you just walk it off. 
I finish up by walking just so that I could give my body and this baby a break. Okay, so I'm going to continue by finishing off this workout with a light stretch. I'm going to begin by swinging my arms, each of them going backwards and then the opposite way going forwards. Just a heads up, when I am completing the stretching and the yoga part of my workout, I tend to put some meditating or kind of relaxing music just to get my body relaxed and loosen up on the tension. Next, I am going to stretch my upper body by twisting, leaving my legs crossed and turning to each side, at least holding for three seconds. To stretch my arms by putting one of my arms across my body kind of twirling my wrist to get that good stretch holding for three seconds and then switching and doing the opposite arm then I bend each arm behind my neck hold it for three seconds next you're going to put each of your legs apart make sure you have a nice space between them so you could get a nice stretch you're gonna go to one side try to reach with your opposite hand hold for three seconds switch and do the opposite side again try to reach with the opposite hand and hold for three seconds butterfly position I move my knees up and down trying to get that inner thigh stretch and next I put my legs together and reach for my toes as best as I can practicing on my breathing in and out I then twist my feet around giving them a nice stretch I also twist my torso by looking backwards once more holding for three seconds and then I lift each leg putting my arm opposite arm across and holding for three seconds each and then we begin with our first yoga pose okay so we are beginning with the cat cow pose now this pose in yoga is great for stretching out the torso your neck and it really helps with bringing flexibility to you and your spine now to get into this position you're going to start with getting on your knees and hands and your wrists are going to be directly under your shoulders as well as your knees directly under your hips you are going to point your fingertips to the top of your mat and then place your shins and knees hip width apart center your head in a neutral position and soften your gaze downward begin inhaling into a cow pose and then as you drop your body towards the mat lift your chin and chest and gaze up towards the ceiling Next, move into cat pose, which you'll exhale and draw your belly to your spine and round your back towards the ceiling. Now, as I exhale, I kind of add this part and I stretch my arms each time I'm done exhaling and it kind of helps with the stretching of my back. Keep in mind that throughout the whole yoga part of this routine, you are going to practice your inhaling and exhaling not only because it helps calm you down, but it really helps keep a balance throughout your body. Quickly, I'm just gonna twist my torso and get a really good stretch for my back and then jump into the next yoga pose. Now the next pose we are going into is the bridge pose. Now this pose really opens up the chest, the heart, and the shoulders as well as it stretches your spine and the back of your neck. If you guys didn't know, it as well stimulates abdominal organs and the thyroid glands which kind of improves health digestion and helps you really regulate your metabolism. Okay, so you're going to start off by lying on your back with your knees bent and feet on the floor. Extending your arms along the floor with your palms flat, you could really Check if you're doing this right by feeling your fingertips on the back of your heel. 
Then you're gonna draw your tailbone towards your pubic bone and exhale as you lift your hips towards the ceiling and inhale once you drop them down and repeat the process over and over again, at least holding for 30 seconds each time you go up with your hips. Okay, so next we're going to jump into the downward facing dog pose. You're going to start by basically kneeling and then you're gonna exhale and spread your knees wide, bringing your feet together. Then stretching your arms out in front of you with your belly between your legs and pushing back into a downward facing dog. As I mentioned earlier, you're really gonna be practicing on your inhaling and your exhaling. I kind of bend in my knees a little bit to get that stretch in and kind of just warm up my legs. Again, practicing my inhaling and my exhaling. Another way to stretch throughout this pose is by lifting up your heels. As you can see, I do that as well. Now our final pose is the tree pose. Now this pose really helps establish strength and balance in your legs. It helps you feel centered, steady, and grounded. You're basically gonna start by standing up straight with your feet together, inner angles and inner knees touching. Then once you find kind of a balance, you're gonna shift your weight onto your right foot, bend your left knee and move it towards your chest, keeping it in a long spine. Reach down and clasp your left ankle. Place the sole of the left foot on the inner right thigh. As you practice your breathing, you're going to repeat the steps. Now only balancing on your left leg. So now that I'm done with my workout, I kind of just sit down, relax, give my body a break, and practice on my inhaling and exhaling. I love this part of the workout because it allows me to clear my mind and I love this meditating process especially now that I'm pregnant it just relaxes my whole entire body if you guys have any suggestions towards any type of poses I could add into my yoga routine or if you're interested in seeing different type of workouts I do with different parts of my body like my arms my back definitely comment below and give this video a thumbs up i really hope i motivated you guys into working out and staying active as well as still maintaining energy throughout the day with this quick workout i hope you guys enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up again if you haven't and subscribe down below i post videos or at least try to post two to three videos a week so stay tuned for more Bye, guys.